<laughs> You're right. <laughs> First showing of our house, five people are coming to see it, and we had to get out of the house so fast, and we barely made it. Like, it's just like... That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's like upset. <laughs>welcome back to my channel before we dive into it let's do a little recap of the last video we started our adventure with searching for our next perfect house while also packing up everything in our current house and getting it ready to sell all right i thought i should update you guys that last night we went to go see three houses we loved one of the houses so much that we put an offer in all of these houses had been put on the market within the last like 24 hours there was lineups to see the second one that we went to go see the one we ended up putting an offer in we were the third offer they accepted our offer with conditions so we're in crunch time now we got to put some work in we got to get our house sold we're moving and i'm so excited the house is so cute here it comes What's this? He's like, Mom, I went that one. Get it. Here it goes, here it goes. We started having back-to-back -back showings, but it was definitely tricky trying to keep the house clean and get the dogs out on time without the potential home buyer seeing us. Which as it turns out was actually a little challenging. We had our first group of showings today. Five people came, five groups of people came and saw the house. Two of them really loved the house. Two of them didn't. One of them we're not sure. All the dogs are hella stressed out though because we spent the afternoon at my mom's house and now we're home waiting to see what happens, waiting for the feedback. So hopefully we'll have sold our house so that we can get the other one. Go boy, come here. Okay, I will fix the problem. Don't all right well i'm parked in the superstore parking lot we had to leave i work from home and a group from yesterday showing wanted a second showing so here i am just gonna sit chill with the dogs i took them on a little walk but it's pouring rain outside so of course it smells like wonderful wet dog in here just gonna wait for them to leave and then drive home and finish work <laughs> we thought for sure we'd sold the house but the buyers weren't ready to put an offer in I think we have about 28 days or so until we move into our new place. We still haven't sold our old place yet. We're still here, hanging out. Haven't sold it yet, so that's a little bit stressful. Most of our stuff is still in the garage. The house has just kind of been like lived in, I guess. You can see that mess I have going on behind me, but I was just making a cake. So the plan for today is I'm just gonna pack up some more boxes, clean up a little bit. We've got all that stuff in the downstairs area under the stairs. So maybe start pulling some of that stuff out, getting it out to the garage, and then going from there. All right. <laughs> this is what the garage looks like. It's a mess. As we got closer to our move-in date, we started to have to pack up some of the rooms, even if we were still showing the house. <laughs> this is my favorite mirror. I would always, like, get dressed up before we would, like, go out for a night or something, and I would always take a picture in this mirror. I'm going to really miss this space. I don't think our new house has a space for here or for this there, but we're going to see. We're going to see what I create there. Finn wants someone to throw his toy. <laughs> so I throw it. Ready? Go! <laughs> we're officially today 13 days away from moving into our new house. And last night at about 10 p.m., we got an offer and we signed and we are officially selling this house and I am so excited. We've had to have all three of our dogs in our car at least one to two hours a day because we've had one to two showings every day for the last like three weeks and that is really hectic. It's been 38 degrees every day this week and it's been super hot so that's been really stressful but we finally made it. We're selling our house super excited now we don't have to have it be super clean we don't have to have everything staged so i'm going to finish packing up the rest of our stuff plus 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 start with one side <laughs> and then like slide it down what up here yeah. <laughs> oh jeez they're sticky i'm not going to do it right already 
Oh, like a pro. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 11 days till the move. We went out last night, so I'm just like a mess. I cleared out most of my closet, just left the things that I might wanna wear, and then I'm just gonna clean this whole area up. But eventually, I think in the next few days, I'm gonna take this down, this down, that down, and then worry about this. But in my closet here is Devin's desk, so we also have to take that downstairs, but that's just really freaking heavy, so no go there. I'm not doing that. Fluff on the ground from Finn. <laughs> Today, though, I'm going to tackle getting this undone, getting it taken downstairs, putting it up against the wall, and then that's the plan for today. With just over a week left to go, we're headed down to our lawyer's office to sign the final paperwork. Signing our mortgage today. It just so happens she's also my twin sister and she doesn't like to be filmed, so she made me turn it off. Okay, this is the mirror I always take photos in front of when I'm ready, but I don't look ready at all. <laughs> 30 degrees outside, just got up from a nap. I'm gonna finish some packing now. I'm gonna take this guy off the wall. This is like completely cleaned out, so I'm just gonna like move it in there just like for now. And then we'll be able to patch up the hole. This is what the garage looks like currently. It is a mess. The goal for right now is we're going to reorganize everything so that we can maximize the amount of space and get everything that we can to the edge of the garage. So when we do pull up the moving truck, we can just load everything on. And as we're moving boxes to the garage, Finn decides to take a giant shit right in our way. I'm gonna pause the frame here so you can see it. Also look at my face, amazing. <laughs> and then we have to hose him off, which he doesn't particularly like either. All right, I'm gonna be driving the U-Haul truck. Just kidding, I would never be trusted to drive this size of a truck ever. Nope. You can throw the <laughs> Devin just finished backing this up onto the grass here. <laughs> Finn's having a panic attack. He's like, Whoa! Hey, lady. <laughs> Everyone else is at my mom's house. She's going to watch them. So just the three of us packing up this U-Haul for right now. See how that goes. Well, it's full. We're not done at all. 80% maybe. Looks pretty empty, super. There he goes. There we go.
look at him. Hey, Finn. Say, oh, Finn, say hi, everyone. <laughs> He's the cutest. He has like fresh pink paws. <laughs>